just filmed the video and I totally, totally forgot to mention this. Um, I actually bought this exact same bag in a different colour for Emma for her birthday. Um, and she's just done an unboxing of it. So if you want to check that out, it's, it's kind of like her first impressions and stuff because she's not carried it yet. But if you want to see an unboxing of how this bag comes brand new, then you can check that out. I will link it below. Please go and tell her I sent you and say hello. Go and subscribe to her channel and show her some love. And here is my video. <laughs> Hi guys, today's video is going to be what's in my bag. But it's not just a regular what's in my bag, it's a what's in my... I want to say carry on then, I'm not really going anywhere like that. What's in my overnight bag? Um, and those of you that have watched these videos from me before will know I hate carrying two bags. I, if at all possible, I will fix, fix? I will fit everything into one large bag and carry everything around with me. And so that is what I have attempted to do. Whether or not I end up needing to take anything extra with me, because it's pretty much fit to birth, I could maybe get away with like one extra thing in here. Um, but I really would like to avoid taking a second bag with me. Uh, we're going to London for the weekend, myself, Ella and my mum, so Ella will have her own bag like this, actually exactly like this, um, because I bought one for her birthday. Uh, Ella will have her own bag and um, hopefully with her own little bits and pieces that she needs, like change of clothes and stuff like that in it. Um, and we will be able to drop off the stuff we don't need at the hotel when we get there because we'll, we're arriving in London quite late um, and we are staying at a hotel, this is so slow, and we're still staying at a hotel very, very close to the train station because we can drop off the stuff we don't need and then everything's going to be lighter, but I'll go through everything that I have in here. It is the Cambridge Satchel, I think it's the 14 inch, I'm fairly certain that this is the 14 inch, it fits my 13 inch, well, it... my phone's ringing. Hello? 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 Are you back at work? No, not yet, I'm still filming the video. It was me. Um, so as I was saying, I think it's the, the 14 inch because it fit my 13 inch MacBook Pro. I've got a smaller laptop now which usually fits in here, but I know that it fit that in it and I'm pretty sure it's the 14 inch. Um, but I've hardly worn it. Truth be told, I've had it for two years and I've not worn it that much because it's quite cumbersome. It's really awkward to wear and I have told myself I absolutely have to wear it this autumn winter and so I thought this was as good a time as any to force myself to use it because uh, I won't have any other options. This will be my, my overnight bag and my daytime bag as well. I do love it. I love the colour. I love that it's embossed with my initials. Anything monogrammed, case in point. Um, anything monogrammed I'm obsessed with. And in theory, I love it, but it's just so awkward. So I'm forcing myself to use it because I do love the way it looks. It's just, I'm more of a kind of throw it in, slouchy bag kind of girl. And this doesn't conform to this. So this is what the bag looks like. It is fit to burst, but it can buckle up still. Um, and I'm also hoping if I stuff it full, it will get a little bit stretched out a little bit as well. It won't be quite as sturdy if I give it a real good <laughs> going over. <laughs> if I give it some real good use this weekend. Um, so getting into the bag, you can see inside. Um, it fits quite a lot of stuff. I mean, the, probably the only thing that I don't have in here, I only have a change of top. I'm going to keep um, my jeans the same. Uh, my shoes and everything like that, I'm not going to take anything else. But I have got some pyjamas in here, obviously underwear which I won't show, but I have it in here, don't worry. Um, and a, a top, and then just the absolute bare essentials. And I have a camera in here that not everyone would want to take with them. And I can easily put that on my shoulder in addition to this if it got to be um, an issue. So, first thing, hairbrush. This will be the hairbrush for Ella and I. Still has hair in it, that's gross. Uh, hairbrush for Ella and I. So if she ends up having more room in her bag, this will be the first thing I, I offload on her. Um, then I have my makeup bag. Now I have some toiletries just like thrown in here, which I'll show you in a second. But my makeup bag, I thought you guys would probably want to know what was inside this. So I will run through it quickly. This is fit to burst by itself. Um, I have a couple of lip options, all of which are red. Daft as that might sound. Um, but the top I'm wearing on the day will be this one. So you know red is pretty much the only colour I can wear with it. Um, and that's another reason that I picked this bag as well. I was going to take my bright purple one, but clashes. You can't do that. I have the red lip liner from Primark in here. I have um, Retro Matte All Fired Up from MAC, which is a, a, quite a new MAC lipstick to me, but it's kind of like a raspberry red. It's a, a, almost a pinky red. And then this, which I love from Freedom, um, it's one of their Pro Melts, which is by far my favourite lip product that they do. But it does bleed. Uh, so that's why I've got the lip liner. Really, really like this. It lasts a really long time. Uh, and I'm not normally kind of a gloss kind of fan. But it doesn't stay high shine, lacquer kind of lip gloss for very long. It's just really, really like it. Very, very opaque. So then my red lip options. Oh, we're still in here. 
I have two brushes. One is a powder brush, which is from B, a super drug, and the other is a Real Techniques blush brush. I have brought my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. The eyebrow pencil stuff that I've brought, I've got the 17 Sculpting Pencil, which I think is in, I think this is like brown, natural brown. Um, I've brought the NYX, or NYX, sorry, <laughs> I'm always sold up for that, Tinted Brow Mascara, which I'm quite liking recently. It gives a bit more of a, a natural brow look. Um, the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara. Uh, Too Faced Bronzer, I'm totally falling back in love with this completely. The Too Faced, it's Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Light Medium. It's a matte bronzer, it's just enough colour for me. Um, oh, and it smells so good, just as I closed it I was like, oh. uh, The New Look Pure Colour Powder. And I think we've come to the end, we have the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette, which is basically their dupe for the Hourglass. I like the Hourglass, it's a very, very nice product, but I would never ever repurchase if I, I mean, I was gifted it, so I didn't purchase it to begin with, and to be quite honest, much as I loved it, I never, and this is why my friends bought it for me, because I had said, there's no way on this earth I could justify purchasing, it was like a 40 or 50 pounds palette, which didn't do enough for me, for the money. Like, it's a very nice palette, it, it does give a really beautiful radiant glow, but you can't really see it. It's not like, wow, that's so gorgeous, it's just like, oh, they look really glowy. And I would get that same effect from the Radiance Palette from Makeup Revolution. So if, if you're torn between the two, unless you are really wanting to spoil yourself, go for the Makeup Revolution, because I have both, and I barely use the Hourglass one. Um, I have my camera in here, which is the Olympus Pen, what is it called? Pen Light EPL7. I have really battered this camera. It's got scuffs all over it. I haven't lost the bottom part of it, but it's definitely broken off. Um, and I need to have it over there to try and get it fixed somewhere. But I use this all the time. I throw it in my bag, I vlog with it, I take all my vlog pictures with it. I could put it on a stand and be filming with it now, but this comes out of the bottom instead of the top. So I'd have to get an adapter for my uh, tripod, because then I wouldn't be able to see in fact, I'm not sure. I would have to film like this so I wouldn't be able to see. I have to get an adapter so it goes off to the side. It's the only reason I don't film with it. Um, although I might get one and just see. I'd like to be able to see whether or not it really is as good quality as the Canon that I'm filming on right now, which is the 600D. I know someone will ask, and whilst I can see it, I will answer that question. Um, so the clothing that I'm bringing, I have some shorts, which are just some little shorts from Tesco. I think, I filmed a haul, and I don't know if that's already gone up, but I'm pretty sure I said they were for Master. And they're not. Um, and I just have this, which is inside out right now, but this kind of burnout t-shirt from Topshop to sleep in. Um, I have the t-shirt for the next day. Or I think maybe after I've travelled, when we go back to the room, I might change into this for the night and then wear my shirt again the next day, I don't know yet. But it's um, a Zoe Carson, I love this t-shirt, it's so comfortable, it's not super flattering, it's quite boxy and wide, um, but it's the Zoe Carson Bat t-shirt. I got this from the Outnet in the sale, I think. Would never have paid full price for a t-shirt, it was like mad money. Um, and then I have the, the last of the bits and pieces that are a bit random in here, that aren't really contained. Ugh. I would be taking kind of iPad and headphones and stuff like that, but because there's going to be three of us on the train, it feels really antisocial to do that. Um, I might throw in a pair of like little iPhone headphones just in case, but I can't imagine I'm going to need to. It's just like when I sleep at night, whether or not I want to listen to something whilst I go to sleep, really, that doesn't disturb everybody else. Um, but on the train and stuff, I would imagine we'll be talking. Um, I got the Fresh Brown Sugar Perfume. I couldn't find just a little one to throw in, which is mine because I know I have them. Um, the Skin and Tonic London Steam Clean. This is like a, a face balm that you can remove. Tickle nose. You can remove your makeup with. Really, really like this, but I've only got this very small one, so I'm saving it for travel. Once I've finished it, I might buy the full size. It's very, very nice. Um, and then I have this mini Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Facial Moisturiser, which is so nice. I, on many occasions, I've thought about maybe purchasing the full size of this, but they can be really expensive from this brand. It's a, it's a very, very pricey brand, um, so I haven't yet. We will see. Um, I've had a few samples of it, so that's been kind of keeping me... I'll try it, and I love it, and then I go back to something cheaper. Um, and then I've got the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. So that's everything that I've got in the way of kind of skincare. I'm not taking anything fancy. Um, I'm hoping my mum brings deodorant. I will have that conversation with her 
before we go because I don't want to take my big tin, my big, you know, can of deodorant, but I haven't got a little one to take, so that'll be annoying if she's not and I have to go out and buy one. Um, but I think, oh no, that's not everything. I have a, a front pocket. The front pocket, when you get in there, this one here, I have my purse in there, that's an important thing. Um, and I have the tickets to the show we're going to see, which is Matilda, if you can see. So we're going to see Matilda. I'm kind of excited about it. It was Ella's choice because it was Ella's birthday, obviously. So that's, I think it's going to be the one that she can most relate to. It's all school children. Um, but yeah, that is everything. And then I have my phone in there as well, which I had to answer fully. The, the, my phone, the phone case, the iPhone 6 Plus, I just got it. And I'm already obs completely obsessed with it. Um, the phone case is from eBay. If I can remember to link it below and if I can find it, I will. It comes as like three parts. It's like a back part slides in and then it's two parts that go around like a bumper. It's really weird, but I love it so much. And it kind of goes with my goes with my purse, which is Kate Spade. I think it's called the Lacey or the Stacy. Can't get it anymore. This material was the glitter bog. They might bring it out again at Christmas then. Um, because I've had a lot of questions about that. But that's it, that's everything that's gonna be in my overnight bag. That's what's in my bag right now. I do intend to do a review of this bag at some point because it's been so, so requested. But when I do, it will be over on my other channel. If you like what's in my bag videos, I've done tons, I have a whole playlist of like bags and shoes. Um, it used to just be a what's in my bag playlist, but then I started talking about other things as well. So if you like just like handbags and stuff, I've done hauls, I've done reviews, I've done what's in my bags, and that's all over on my other channel. Um, but lots of you request those videos here, so I thought I would do this video for you guys that don't want to subscribe to a separate channel, and also let you know that that is there if you want to see more. Um, but that's it for this video. I'm really excited to go. I will definitely be vlogging, so don't forget to check out that on the same other channel. Um, it's Diary of a Spenderholics, always linked below. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!